Hey, what can I help you with? Well, um, got this uh, uniform jacket in with some costumes. We do some high school productions, and we get donations in periodically. And with that came this Civil War jacket. I mean, if it's real, it'll be really cool. I mean, it's from Civil War. Coming down to the pawn shop today to have them look at a Civil War jacket that I have. The reason I want to sell it today is that I'm hoping to get some money that we can put back into the wardrobe shop. If I could get at least $500 out of it, if it is authentic, I think that would be a, a great find for us. Well, it's definitely cool. Should you know anything about it? Actually, I don't. It was just in a bag of clothes that we got in, so I have no idea where it came from or any of the history on it. You know, it, quite frankly, it doesn't shock me that someone would just throw this in a bag and donate it. You wouldn't believe the amount of stuff I buy off people that they just find in attics. Sure, yeah. Yeah, the um, Civil War was mud, it was sweat, it was horses. It's not nearly as romantic as they make it out in the movies. You know, just rough, terrible existence as far as I'm concerned. Life was horrible for a soldier during the Civil War, and their uniforms didn't make things much better. Just imagine what it would be like wearing this heavy wool jacket in the summer in the South. Hundreds actually died of sunstroke. It looks really old. This looks like a Civil War cavalry jacket yeah. But I don't know. You know, my big concern about it is it just looks too good to be true. There's not one moth hole in it, and I mean, there's really no scuffs. If this uniform is real, it could be worth some serious money. But this thing is in amazing shape for its age. I know there's a lot of people who make these for reenactments, so I have to be careful. What do you want to do with it? Well, if we can get money for it, I mean, that's money to put toward the school for other things. OK. I really like it. Civil War stuff is cool, and okay. it sells. Sure. Uh, I'm going to call my buddy, and if there's any guy in the world who will know about this, it'll be Mark. Well, great. If it's all real, we'll um, figure something out. That'd OK, be great. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. I'm excited that they're bringing in an expert today, because if he can tell us that it's the real deal, then it's a win-win for everyone. Hey, Mark, how's it going? I'm the administrator of the Clark County Museum System. Well, this is it. This is what I called you about. OK. So can you tell me how you came up with this? Actually, it was donated with uh, some costumes for a theater production. <laughs> so we know absolutely <laughs> nothing about it. Oh, I hate to tell you how many times I've seen things that have gone into costume collections that really shouldn't have. Rick, what are your concerns on it? I mean, it just looks too good to be true. And Generally, when I see that, that's generally the case. Yeah, and you're right to think that way. Anytime you have a Civil War uniform, anything like that, and it's in perfect shape, yes, you do want to question it. There are a lot of reproductions. There are a lot of costumes that have been made. In order to tell whether this is real, what I'm looking for is you know, what kind of materials they are, how they're put together. These are inspector's marks. That means that it was inspected as it came into the military. That's what should have happened. Now, that's a little interesting. You normally have loops here that the belt would have gone through. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's not original to the time period. The reality was in the Civil War, we were outfitting a huge army from almost nothing. So we were buying from anybody who could sew these things up. And Civil War uniforms are somewhat notorious for having variances from what the ordinance said. When you wore this, you wore it with uh, metal shoulder boards. And this doesn't show any sign of ever having shoulder boards on it. Even for the fact it doesn't have the loops, doesn't appear to have ever had shoulder boards, I think it's real. I think what you have is a Civil War Model 1854 uniform jacket. My guess is this was worn by somebody behind the lines because it is in wonderful shape, or that it came out of surplus. Thank you Thanks, for bringing Mark. it in. Yeah, appreciate it. I think this is a spectacular Civil War uniform. You don't see these anymore. So yes, I think, I, I rather hope Rick can get this one. OK, so what are you looking to get out of it? Are we talking $1,000, or are we? I really believe in an auction I can get $1,500, 2000 out of this thing. Wow, that's impressive. But uh, there's a lot of fees with an auction. Oh, sure. And I have to make a little bit for my time, effort, and risk. $750? Mm, 
go 850? I'll tell you what, I'll go 850. Great. Okay. Thank you. All right, let's go do some paperwork. All right. I'm really excited to learn that this is real because it's great for the school, but it's also, it's gonna change my whole look at things when things come in. I ended up settling today for $850, so it was a, it was a great day.